and somebody is coming before you and he's, he wants to fight you say leave me alone I don't want to fight and then he takes you takes you up smashes you on the ground hey, I don't want to fight they wanted to kill you fight we fight the good fight of faith with salvation, with the power of God, and with the assurance of the word of God, while they are coming, and you realize greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And when they are coming, you say, you want to fight? I'll surprise you. I'm coming from the mountain top of transformation. And I hold the authority in my hand. And the Lord told me, he told me you are coming. That you will fight against me. But you will not prevail. If you love your life, clear out of the way. All the enemies will clear out of your way. Victory. Victory. Did you hear my people the other time? Take it back. I said, take it back. Somebody wants to take your wife. Mr. Somebody, I don't want to fight. Please leave my wife. Your wife. I'm taking this one. But I will not fight. You don't know how to fight with prayer. How to fight with the sword of the spirit, the word of God. How to fight with the declaration and the confession of your mouth. They oppress you. They walk on you. And they put all this rubbish on you. And then, I don't want to fight. Of course, of course, you will fight. And everything the devil has taken away. While you are like that, you wake up like a giant. I said you wake up like a giant and every sin, every sin you have given to the hands of the devil as you rise up, every sin you lost, you are going to get them again in Jesus' name. He had told Joshua, he said, do you know all these cities have been for us but while we just left and we let go, they've taken it. Joseph, what do you think? Come and help me. We're going to take it back. If that wicked king knows his right, and he knows his property, and he knows what belongs to him, and he wants to take it back, what is it believers, born again people, children of God, all diseases that are given to us? In the market, if the sinners who are prospering, in the city, if the sinners who are getting land and houses, in the everywhere, if the, and then we are just getting the remnant. We are at the back of the queue today. Come to the front of your queue. They shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. Why? For I am with thee. The one that never lost any battle when you are born again, when you become a child of God, it says, I your redeemer, I your savior, I your substitute, I that went to the cross of Calvary and I overcame for you. I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, says the Lord. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am delivered. I have delivered, praise the Lord. Look at verse 21 there. In verse 21 there, and I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of Mr. Terrible. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41. Reading from verse 15. Behold, 
I will make you a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as child. In verse 16, it says, Thou shalt find them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the world we shall scatter them. Anything that will stand in your way as you are born again now, anything that will stand in your way as Calvary has made a mark in your life, anything that will stand in your way, the wind will scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. God's people, the kingdom is in our hand. The promises are in our hands. The decree of heaven, that decree is in our hand. We will overcome. I will overcome. The Lord confirm it in your life in Jesus' name. Second Timothy chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. Second Timothy chapter 4. We're looking at verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me. And the Lord shall deliver who? That's Paul the Apostle, born again. That's Paul the Apostle, a member of the kingdom of God. That's Paul the Apostle. He came out of darkness. He came to the light. That's Paul the Apostle. He came out of religion. And he came unto the Lord as a savior, as his redeemer. And he said, now that I am saved. You have to be saved. And thank God tonight, you are going to be saved. Yeah. You're missing a lot when you are not born again. You're missing a lot. You're fighting against the world all by yourself. How can you overcome? You're missing a lot when you're not born again. You're fighting against the devil all by yourself. You're already down. You're missing a lot when you're not born again. And you're fighting against the flesh all by yourself. But today you say, now I see. And I come. And I belong to the Lord. And I'm going to enter the life of triumph. The life of the conqueror. And the life of the overcomer. Just give your life to the Lord. That settles it all for you. Your name is written in the book of life. And anywhere you go, unseen, invisible angels will be going before you. All around you will be the bodyguard of the heavenly host. Underneath you will be the everlasting arms. Above you will be the shield and the umbrella that will shield you from every attack of the world in Jesus' name. But you have to come out of your sin and come to the Savior. And the moment you come, the Lord will become your deliverer. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Born again. Born again. Born again. In first in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us therefore 
come. Let us therefore come. The invitation is coming to you again. And the Lord is asking, who is it? I have salvation waiting for you. I have healing waiting for you. I have deliverance waiting for you. If you will only come, then you will come. Then you will tell your friend, if it's nearby there, come. This is our time. You tell your wife, this is the time. Wouldn't it be wonderful that you give your life to the Lord the same time together in a particular crusade? There was this man having real family trouble with the wife. And the wife ran away. Actually, they divorced because the woman said it's too much. I cannot bear this again. The man said, go your way. I'm fed up to you. And for some years, they were apart. And then there was a crusade like this. The man came without knowing the woman was there. The woman came without knowing the man was there. The altar call was made. In that place, there was uh, enough room to call them forward. And so, they came forward. And um, the husband came forward to receive uh, the salvation of the Lord. The wife came forward on her own. They didn't know that either one was there. Came out to receive the salvation of the Lord. And then uh, they repented of their sins. And they turned to the Lord. And they had salvation. And while the counseling was going on, and they were taking their names and all that, the husband saw, ah, who is that? Look at that. She came, and then, after putting the name down, went to her side. Ah, so and so, you are here? While they gave their lives to the Lord, that's how they settled. And they didn't go to separate homes that night. They went together as new husband and wife. A change will come to your family. A change will come to your business. A change will come to your life. Encourage him, encourage her, encourage your friend there. The Lord is calling, Christ is calling. Let us therefore come, us. Let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Grace is available tonight. Salvation available tonight. And deliverance available tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. Salvation, salvation, peace of mind, grace of God, becoming a member of the kingdom of God, becoming a child of God. Let us come, let us come, let us come to the throne of grace. Grace is available tonight. You have the final chance in this crusade tonight. And you're giving your life to the Lord that he'll forgive you and save you wherever you are. Raise up your hand there. God bless you. It's a chance you will not want to miss. If you're raising up your hand here, there, online, your room there, in the hospital there, or you are hearing over the radio, you are watching over the television, or you are before the screen, the Lord is with us here, with you there. Raise up your hand. Stand up. Come. Stand up. The Lord is waiting for you. God bless you there. God bless you there. Thank you. God bless you there. It's going to be a day of transformation for you. Stand up. God bless you there. God bless you there. Online people, God bless you there. The satellite location, God bless you there. Watching over the television, webcast, over the radio, anywhere you are in the hospital. Just signify, the Lord can understand. You're giving your life to the Lord now. 
while you are standing, tell the Lord, I come out, out of my sin, tell the Lord, I come out, out of darkness, tell the Lord, I come out, out of my iniquity and transgression, tell the Lord, I come out, out of that gang, out of the filthiness of the flesh, Lord, I come out, out of my weakness, out of my slavery to Satan, Lord, I come out, tell the Lord there, forgive me, Lord, tell him, save my soul, Lord, tell him, Receive me into your kingdom. Tell him. Tell him you believe that Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary and that his sacrifice is enough to save you. Tell him. Tell him you receive his salvation now. And you receive him, Christ the Savior, into your heart. As many as received him, he gave power to become the sons, the daughters of God, even to them that believe on his name lord i believe i believe you receive me now in jesus name we pray as we're standing up raise up your hand so you join your faith with my faith father in the name of jesus i pray for everyone was surrendered sincerely unto Christ, receiving Christ into their hearts now as Savior. Forgive them, Lord. Save them, Lord. Write their names in the book of life and let a definite change happen in every heart now in Jesus' name. Let your spirit be a witness of their hearts. They are now children of God. Thank you, Lord. We know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep standing. A state of us here is coming. And in all the various locations, the leaders there will come and lead us in this time of counseling. Keep standing. Counselors, please get your name outside and inside and in all the halls. Give them the converse slip. Let them feed it correctly. Their address and their names as well as their telephone number. Make sure everything is correctly done. After they fill the card, they give you back, they give them the converse package. And in all the location, the same thing should be going on now. And for those online, you have the link over there, the spread. Please then open it and then fill in the form and submit. Or you can contact the telephone number that have been displayed can send a text message to that too. And for those who listened and made the addition over the radio, please contact us or contact the Nyare Dipalai Bible Church to you in the state from where you listen to. Or if it's in any good state here, consult, just contact the Nyare Dipalai Bible Church to you. And remember, this coming Sunday, 
for all those people, all the people that gave their lives to the Lord, we're going to have Converse Banquet. Believers Lally. And for Enugu Metropolis, it's going to take place here at the campground. And in all other regions, regional headquarters, as well as local government headquarters, so that it can be close to you. Be there on Sunday, 3 p.m. And also, when you come, we're going to give you a book written by a father in the Lord that will help you step by step to grow in your faith and to maintain your victory over the three deadly enemies and the Lord that has saved you will keep you. Cancel us, please. Let's ensure that none that gave their life to Christ is overlooked. Please, in hall one, two, three, in all the halls, let's get to them and let's get all their details. And outside too, so many people outside, please, if in the hall, you have nobody counseling, quickly join the people outside. We have so many people outside, almost more than the people inside. Quickly get to them so that you can help the cancerous over there because the people outside are far more. Therefore, sometimes it's overwhelming the cancerous assigned outside. So please quickly get there and help them to take all the details. Once you finish, you hand over the convert package, then you collect the slip, and hand over to supervisors so that we can collect, gather them together and then be able to sort them out for immediate follow up and other things. Online, please, just go to the link over there, open and fill the form and submit. Or you can send a text message to the phone number that are displayed or you can call and you'll be directed as what to do. And remember on Sunday 5th of September we'll all be together both here and in all the locations, not only in any world, the location all over the world to have this believers banquet as we do the blessings of God would abound in your life. Cancel us, please. Let's be fast. Hold one. How far are we true? Okay, hold one is true, but hold two. You are true, too. Make sure that everybody has been attended to. I see some people being attended to here. So let them finish. Hold three. All three, you are true, you are sure, everybody has been attended to, please. Let's ensure that everybody, I can see, see some people writing in all three. Let's not be quick. Let's ensure, because this is the most important hour to help these people that gave their life to the Lord so that they will be able to grow in their faith. Hold four, please. Are we true? I see, see some other people, please. Let's ensure that everyone is attended to. And those other people, maybe you didn't give your life or you've done it before, and then you are not part of the council. We'll be talking to God now because tonight, final night, final day in August, and you need something, and you must get something. Be praying, telling the Lord, I will not let you go until you bless me. I will not let you go until you bless me. Be telling the Lord, why can't sell us and rounding off the account selling? Hall 7, are we true? Please, once you finish your counseling, don't come back. Stay there so that you can encourage the people as they are receiving their testimony. You are bringing them out. You encourage those who have real problems to receive 
Sometimes just a little encouragement, stand up, stand up, stand up, can make that lame man jump out of the wheelchair. But if nobody is there to encourage him, saying, the prayer has been made, power has been released, stand up, or open your eyes, that person may feel where I am left out. That's why cancerous please don't go back. Members of the choir, stay with them. And all other cancerous, stay with them. And then, as the prayer has been made, they will, as they get their miracle, you bring them out. Hall 2, are we true now? Hall 3, are we true? God bless you. Hall 4. Hall 4, are we true? Okay, God bless you. Hall 5. Okay, Hall 6, are we true? God bless you. Hall 7. Okay, what of outside? Are we true outside? Wonderful. Rise on your feet now. The hour has come. And pastor have told us, carry, go. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. The Lord is here. The healing is here. The deliverance is here. He gives everybody. He is no respecter of persons. And it's yours to receive. And so you understand. If your neighbor can receive, you also can receive. He will do it for you. You will not go back home empty handed. Raise up your hand. Lay the other hand where you have a challenge. Blind eyes will open. Deaf ears will open. Our lives, people will rise up and walk. Broken bones will be joined together. Swellings will vanish away. Brain problems will be cleared up. And everything, pain, this one walking here, walking there, everything will go tonight. Cancer will be healed. Incurable diseases will be healed in Jesus' name. COVID will be cleared away. Be it unto you according to your faith. The Lord is ready now, and the name is going to work wonders in your life. Lay your hand where you have the challenge, where you hear the final amen. You will know it is done. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because you are a mighty God. The God that cannot lie. You have given us the promise. You said whatsoever we ask in the name of your only begotten Son will be given unto us. And we know by his stripes we are healed. I pray, Lord, your healing virtue will go out to everyone, everywhere, right now, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Those who are here, inside, outside, those are various congregations all over the country, all over the continents, right now, at this moment, touch them, Heal them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the miracle power will touch everyone right now. That brain problem, you are delivered in Jesus' name. 
swelling, goiter, elephantiasis, hernia, be removed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Cancer, hear the word of the Lord. It's a decree from heaven. You cannot remain there. Cancer patient be healed in Jesus' name. Also be healed in Jesus' name. Diabetes, those urinating so many times in the day, so many times in the night. The Lord touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Prostrate, you are healed. Amen. Lord, I pray every appearance, every symptom of that prostrate, take it away in Jesus' name. long-standing problem of a mountain. Lord, I pray, clear it away from their bodies now in Jesus' name. Lord, this final night, I pray every sick person, every oppressed person, every demonized person, Touch them, heal them, deliver everyone in Jesus' name. <laughs> Healing virtues from heaven flow into every life right now. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Lord, show yourself strong on behalf of everyone. Confirm the miracle in every life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray.